Hi everybody, so today I'm going to be doing a current favorites video. Um, it feels like I just did one because I'm actually uploading one today that I recorded like a month ago. Um, pre-recorded a month ago so um, but I do have some new favorites and some old favorites um, if I do look the same in a video it's because I just did a contour highlight blush video so um, look out for that if you want to see a tutorial of how I do that um, so anyways yeah I do have some new favorites and some old ones that I do want to mention and I'm just gonna get right into it because the other one was like 15 minutes long because I hadn't done a favorites in a long time so here we go actually I need to find Okay, so whew, sorry if my hair starts blowing and stuff it's because my fan is on because it's so hot here in Hawaii. Anyways, um, first thing I'll start with are some lip products. There are two drugstore lipsticks and the first one here is called um, Ferris Nude and it is by L'Oreal. That's the name right there and this is the color. And it is a beautiful nude color it's so creamy and the smell just reminds me of um, when I was little my grandma used to have this like container of lipsticks that she had and I guess she had some L'Oreal lipsticks because when I smell this it reminds me of when I used to like take her lipsticks and put it on my lips and I remember the smell of it and I never I don't think I've ever owned a L'Oreal lipstick and it's the first one and it just takes me back to that <laughs> it's kind of weird but yeah so anyways, that's the Swatch of Ferris Nude. It's a really pretty nude color. Um, your lips but better color and I absolutely love it. Um, really easy to apply to, creamy and you don't need a gloss. The next one, same thing, really easy to apply, you don't need a gloss. I'm wearing it right now. And it is from Maybelline and it's called Make Me Pink. And it is part of their Color Sensational Lipsticks. I like the packaging, it's really nice. But anyways, that's what am I doing? That's the color right there. And I'll show you the swatch of that, although I do have it on my lips. That's the swatch of that next to the um, Ferris Nude. Sorry, my camera's freaking out. So yeah, as you can see, they're both very like um, glossy texture, so you don't need a gloss, and they're just really nice to put on. Um, the lasting power isn't that great, just because they are very um, moisturizing and very... Um, soft I guess you can say but it's really easy to apply and I just love them um, let's see I'm just gonna grab things um, the next thing I have is my Dior um, amber diamond highlighter it comes in this beautiful velvet pouch which I will not throw away <laughs> and um, this is what it looks like I love that CD in there it's so cool and then um, has comes in a mirror and that's what it looks like and it is the prettiest highlighter I will show you a swatch of that as well um, that's if I mix all the colors together it's such a pretty pretty sheen there's no like chunky glitter in it it's just a beautiful sheen and I have that as a highlighter on today um, I've used it like every day since I've gotten it so don't think I'll ever buy a new highlighter because I will have to save money to keep getting this <laughs> um, when I run out. But yeah, very, very, very beautiful. I um, really do like that. Um, it is pricey, but very much worth it. Um, and a little goes a long way, so I'm sure you all have that for a while. The next one I mentioned in my um, previous um, favorites, but didn't have it with me. And it is the Bella Bomba Blush. And that's what it looks like such cool packaging and that's the color right there it's like a watermelon pink and it smells like watermelons and it's just gorgeous 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 pink color that's the swatch of it right there it's such a pretty pretty pink and I like that a lot it's it's just really nice on your cheeks it I can't explain it like I don't know if it's just because I have pink undertones in my skin. You would think I have yellow because I'm Japanese, but um, most Japanese and Asians, for that matter, have yellow undertones, but I have pink undertones, and even when I go to Mac, Mac I'm always a, um, if I get a foundation there, which I have never, because it just breaks me out, I don't like their foundations, but um, when I did get Color Match one time, 
Um, it's always an NW. Everything is NW for me, which is the warmer spectrum, which is the pink undertones. So, um, yeah, and I guess that's why maybe pinks look nice on me, but I do like orange blushes and everything else. But I do believe this will work on anybody. It's so pretty. If you can get your hands on it, definitely get it. The next one um, was in the previous one, and I can't exclude it. It is Taj Mahal from NARS. That is the color or the name. And again, it is a burnt orange, and you can see like, what I swiped, and that's how pigmented it is. I have yet to use this as an eyeshadow. I really want to because look at that. Like, how could I not try to use that as an eyeshadow? So I definitely will one of these days. I need to use more of my blushes as um, eyeshadows because I have beautiful blushes. But yeah, so really pretty. Um, as I said, I have it on right now over another one of my favorites, but um, I'll link the, the application down below so you can see that, so you won't be scared, because it is really nice. Um, so what I have over that is um, NARS Bronzer in Irresistible Mint, and I believe this would be the best bronzer for girls that are very fair or um, in the light colored skin tones, just because it's a terracotta bronzer and it's not very brown pigmentation it's just a really nice um, dark color but not too dark that it looks muddy um, Casino can look muddy I don't have Laguna but I heard it can also look muddy this one I don't really use as a bronzer I use it more as a, as a blush because um, it doesn't really come up as a bronzer on me unless I pack it on but that's the color swatch right there it's a really pretty color. So that's what I have underneath of um, Taj Mahal and it, it's really gorgeous. So Irresistible Mint. It, it is their newest bronzer. The next thing I have is My Paradise um, Cheek Powder from the Surf Baby Collection by MAC and it is the also famous um, cheek blush I guess you could say with the golden hibiscus um, on the side. So pretty. Um, for all you people that live in Hawaii, my boyfriend when he saw it, he's like, oh, it reminds me of Liberty House. So, I think only people in Hawaii would know that it, what that is, though. Um, but it does. And um, I wish this gold overspray would not go away because it gives the color such dimension. But the, um, the color by itself is so pretty as well. This is what it is with the gold in it. I don't know if you can really tell. But this is a swatch of just the peach color. So right there is just the peach color and right here is with the gold um, overspray in it. So I'm sure it will go away, but it only goes away if you really rub. So if you use it sparingly, it should last you um, a good amount of time. But this is sold out online already. So by the time I probably upload it, it will probably be gone. <laughs> upload this video, it will probably be gone. So I'm sorry, but if you do have it, great if you don't you can try and still look for it but it is definitely a favorite um another thing i have here is um the falsies mascara by maybelline i've been using this a lot over my shiseido mascara base and this is what the wand looks like it's kind of curved and i don't know this is my by far my favorite drugstore mascara that i've ever tried and I've tried a good share of mascara because I'm always on the hunt for good ones. But this just does it. It lengthens. It volumizes. I have it on right now. And as you can see, my lashes look huge angus. And my lashes are not huge angus at all. <laughs> They're little itty bitty sparse Asian lashes that are annoying. I wish I had full ones. But yeah, this is the job of the um, Maybelline falsies mascara so this is a waterproof one which is tough to get off but I do enjoy this a lot another thing I've been reaching for quite often is um, my NARS Galapagos eyeshadow I know I have a lot, a lot blah, 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 blah. I know I have a lot of NARS products but I've kind of been rediscovering them in my collection and using them and it is this gorgeous brown dark brown color insanely pigmented with gold um, glitter running through it. And the gold kind of goes away if you blend it out, but if you pat it onto your eyelid as a base color, it is gorgeous. 
and the gold does um, transfer if you do pat it on but that's what it looks like and you can see the gold glitter running through that it is really nice I have it on my outer corner right now and so I don't think the gold really did transfer as much as it would if I were to pack the color on but um really really pretty it's beautiful as a dark like brown smoky eye for like going out I should do a tutorial and maybe I will but yeah really gorgeous um, eyeshadow okay so um last two things um, one kind of related well it is related to beauty um, it is my um, perfume of choice at the moment and it is the Chanel Eau Tendre I'm totally butchering that but it's okay look it magnifies my Ooh. okay sorry but um, <laughs> it is the pink one and this smells so good <laughs> Oh, seriously, I wish it wasn't as expensive as it is, but I got a gift card from for Sephora from um, my boss for my birthday, so I splurged and oh, smell this in Sephora. Get a sample, put it in your bag, and use it till it's gone because it's so good. That's why I, it, I haven't used a spray of this yet. Oh. That's why I haven't used a spray of this yet because um, I have the little sample here and so I've been using this up until I start using this. But um, I love this. It smells so good. I wish it came in the Ore Parfum because this only comes in the um, toilet or whatever it's called. Um, toilet, toilet, I have no idea. Japanese. Anyways, um, yeah, this is really good, but it doesn't really stay on the skin as long as the Eau de Parfum. Um, and then the last thing I have is my iPhone. And I've got, um, I got this for my birthday as well. Um, it is the white iPhone, and it does have a case on it. It's just a really cool case because it's clear in the back. And then it has a white, so. Anyways, I'm obsessed. I'm totally obsessed with my screensaver my boyfriend and my best friend and my best friends from college missing some and then my Grammy but I'm obsessed totally obsessed with this so um, yeah my my iPhone I love it I love 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 it and it's probably gonna come out with a new one come September I think that's the rumors and I'm probably gonna want that, but I'm not gonna be able to get one until two years. But it's okay because by then I'll get the iPhone 10 that probably has like capabilities that you can like, I don't know. Like, I, I really don't even know. They'll have ridiculous capabilities that um, I'll probably enjoy. I'm sure I'll enjoy. Um, maybe you'll be able to like teleport with your iPhone. Who knows? Anyways, those are my favorites at the moment. This is probably so long again, I'm going to have to edit. <sighs> I hope you guys enjoyed it though, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!